Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok, where we have just taken down a huntress, a, a centaur, if you ask me, which is a damn shame, because I thought centaurs look really, really cool. And here we've just gone and killed one. I mean, granted, she did try and attack us first, but, you know, what, what can we do about that? Anyhow, so we are following our son Atreus here through the wild woods, and he has taken us up through the forest. He says there's something that we need to see. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's go see what he has to show us. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Uh, okay, let's go. What are you showing us, kiddo? What are you showing us? Oh, hang on, we'll have that. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found? Telling the stories of giants, how the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes, we found Hang on, buddy, hang on. I have seen them. Well, there's Can we go down there? We no. Realize. No, let's just follow him. Let's just see what he has to show, what he has to show us. I wonder if he's met a girl. Ooh, what's that in there? Oh, how can we get that? Oh, wait, maybe with the uh, Chaos Blades? No, it doesn't look like it. What about the, the axe? Nope, doesn't look like it. There must be something else. We m Oh, hang on. Let's just have a quick gander here. Atreus, buddy, don't go anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! How do you always know how to find those? <laughs> well, kiddo, you know, when you've, uh, when you've been at this game this long... What? What is that? Interesting little bug. Yeah, when you've been at this game as long as I have, you, you learn a thing or two. All right, kiddo, what are you going to show us? Oh, wait, look up well, there. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Again? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to have to destroy this. Are we using the axe, or...? Yep. That should help. All right, let's try that again. Did something give over on the right? There we go. Come on. Oh, hang on. Oh, I want to go down there now. I want to get that. Maybe on the other side? Oh, what do you think? Can we We can't get it from this side. Maybe from the other. Let's let's try. I mean, it is... Oh, hang on. What's this? You watching? Well, that's new. Okay. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. Is this lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world, but it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. Oh wow! You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? 
Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giant setting Skull and Hagi free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. Hmm. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Interesting, what? Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. Oh. Okay. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belt black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Okay, got some rawhide. So... Alright. Huh. Ground looks kinda cracked there. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um... Should we go around it? Or are we kind of meant to go through it? Uh, I think we're supposed to go through it. Shortcut this way.
Hmm. Not quite. Um. I'm reluctant to stand on it. But I suspect that's what the game wants us to do, doesn't it? Alright. Let's, uh. Let's try it out. No? Okay, that is curious. Um, where are we going here? Hmm. Aha, maybe this way? Okay. Hang on a second, Atreus. Hang on. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> oh, this is... We must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. This is the way we came... You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Aha, uh -huh, this is how we get over here. Very good. Maria, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Sneezed up! What? Uh, okay. Good, uh, good hustle. Wait, now that way, I suppose? So, yeah, so we came from there. Okay. Very good. Okay, and, uh, yeah. Back home, I suppose. Hmm. So if Tyr's been locked up this whole time, then... Okay, here we go. What is going on? What is going on? Okay, I'm clearly out of practice. How were they not, like, remotely staggered when they're being hit by, like, these chaos plates? Whoa, okay. Whoa! Let's get rid of small potatoes. And then I may have to take the axe here. Alright, let's uh let's try this runic attack. What is it? It's uh L1. Brother, there's no blocking without your shield! Okay, we still took a hit there. Get in there. Damn, son! Alright. That is how it's done. 
do? Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. Hmm, interesting words there. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Wait, what's this tree for? Why... Okay, well, I mean... It's good that we can use trees as uh, weapons. But I'm not sure the significance of it there. Okay, in my home. Kratos! Over here! Sindri. Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! <laughs> How you've grown! Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me. Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. Okay, okay, he's gonna repair the gate. Lovely. After you, my friends. Let's go. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Well, we, we kind of know where we want to be going next, don't we? Alright, in we go. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. Alright, Sindri's house. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Okay, we'll take it. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need... Is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr? To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son in disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... it's just... there's... it's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, <laughs> man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast! How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. <laughs> I blame you. Now, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. 
All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off <laughs> gallop. He's got such a way with words, Brock, hasn't he? Nervous. Of course, mm. our shield. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Okay, welcome to the Holder Brothers shop. Craft and upgrade armor, weapons, attachments, and items using collected resources. Uh, so we can view their services. Uh, shields available. Brock has enough materials to forge a new shield. Navigate to the weapons menu. Let's check that out. Uh, okay, so these are the shields we can get. I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, so we, we'll see what we can do. We, we don't have the Rond of Volition just yet. We can get the Dauntless Shield. What does that look like? Come on, didn't we just see that a second ago? Or oh, there's the Stonewall Shield. It's kind of Stonewall-y. Dauntless one doesn't look too bad, actually. Dauntless gives us Defense 10. Stonewall Defense 10 as well. Uh, defense fit for high risk and high reward parries. Well, in terms of defense, they're the same. What resources do they both use? The, um, actually, they seem a, they seem kind of the same. All right, I'm gonna craft the dauntless one. Sweet, a shield crafter for a warrior focused uh, focused on their foes' intentions, not for the faint of heart. I hope we don't regret that. We could also uh, craft the Stonewall one. Crotter's ability to block is restored. Now it's time to get Atreus some new armor. Sweet. Uh, so we can view the armor. Uh, Brock. We want companion armor, don't we? If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller... Craftable equipment is indicated with a hammer so icon in the good. list. Craft Atreus' new armor now. Uh, Brothers brand investment. Bloody hell, look at that. Looks kind of elvish, almost. Armor crafted with care by the legendary Holder Brothers, said to be one of their finest works. Brothers brand vestment. Uh, well, I suppose it doesn't really matter what stats it has, as long as it's for Atreus. It, I imagine it's just always going to be kind of leveling him up, isn't it? All right. Well done, Atreus. Uh, so we can upgrade our wrist armor and our waist armor as well, it seems. We've done for the chest. Upgradable. So we can upgrade this to level 2. Or we can go back to the shoulder god of survival. And get that up to... So that's going to be 5 forged iron, which we've got. And some hack silver, which we've got. And it looks like... Uh, Vida's Paltron of Might is going to be the same. And that as well. Okay, so the resources to upgrade are all going to be the same. That's fine. Uh, that's going to give us 16 strength, 11 defense. That's going to give us 12 strength and 12 defense. Mm, slightly more defense. That they're more attack. Oh, we got decisions to make. We got decisions to make, guys. Okay, I'll come back to that in just a second. Let's take a look at the wrist armor. So we've got the wraps of survival. We could craft Vida's braces of might. I see. So to craft it, it just takes hack silver, but then to upgrade it, it takes hack silver plus whatever forged iron. So we could probably go and Craft. Uh, that's only 600. Hmm. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so yeah, to upgrade that, that's a thousand of our 1500. Alright, we're gonna have to be. We're going to have to think about this. A fortified husk girdle. 
mean, that looks pretty cool. So this is to upgrade it. It ups our defense from 1 to 12. That's going to be awesome. I mean, that would be brilliant. From strength to 0 to 3. Fortified husk girdle. Oh, okay, I'm going to definitely have to do some thinking here. Bidia's belt of might. Okay, so I, I've upgraded the shoulder guard of survival. Uh, I've just been looking at the higher tier uh, defensive capabilities of it, and it does seem to be better than the uh, Vidar's pauldron of might. The, the, I mean, this here is pretty good in that it'll increase our strength as well, but uh, I, I am kind of going for survivability. I'd like to go for survivability. If I have any more um, ability, uh, uh, what was it, um, resources left over, then I might put them into the other things. But uh, for the moment, I'm going to try and focus on survivability. Now, the Leviathan Axe, we can do an upgrade there as well. So, we can upgrade... Uh, no, we can't do that, can't do that. We can upgrade the actual axe itself. I'm guessing this is the axe head. So, let's do that. That's going to take our attack from... Well, up by 10, so that's brilliant. No, up by 15, actually. From 10 to 25. Sweet. Stats and damage increase. Okay, it's level 2. It's going to be good. can start hitting hard. So we need another frozen flame. And I'm guessing that's going to come from another boss of some kind. And we will see. So to upgrade the wooden knob, we will need another rawhide. And for the furious maul, uh, grant a gift of strength on any axe kill. That could be nice. But we need another rawhide for that as well. Okay, well, I'm kind of happy with the setup we've got here. Items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. With items we may have left behind, let's take a look. Thank you. Oh man, we've got some forged iron this and a shattered rune Sindri. and some axe silver. You built it all yourself. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's. Yeah, let's see if we can upgrade something now. Uh, nothing there. We... we... Yeah, we could upgrade, we could create those braces. But I'm not need too fussed about that stuff. Yeah, we still need rawhide. Okay, we're, we're alright there. Special items, nothing yet. Nothing to sell, let's not sell anything just no yet. No refunds. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have a little chat. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Exquisite. All right. So this is our new home. Well, I suppose temporary new home. Wait. Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. Sindri's house. Nice. Did he show us hey, where our rooms are? Come see. And he's got a nice house here, huh? Finding everything all right, I hope? That's not too bad. Let's take a look at that map. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. <laughs> Rebel leader, Derlin. <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut, huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just 
counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. Asparagations? This smudge bunger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. <laughs> Brilliant. That is absolute quality. Alright, so then, c come on. I've always wanted to see your home room. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. Okay, so then should we get going out there then? I mean, okay, I suppose, yeah, let's get to it then, address. You hear that? Uh, is there nothing else to see out here, is there? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. Oh, wow. They do look pretty big. Damn, son. Yeah, let's, uh, let's stay well away from there, buddy. Alright. Let's get to it. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light. In your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stodding bastard! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> what? Oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Russell goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns! Fuck! <laughs> 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 what what was the point of that? The old goat? <laughs> Retrieve me and travel to Svartelheim. Okay. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay. Good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on. Let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Okay, Yggdrasil Realm Seeds unlock new, uh, unlock access to new Mr. Gateways. Shine the light of Yggdrasil on Svartalfheim. Uh, okay, Realm available to travel, press X to open. Yggdrasil Seeds collected one. Okay. Aha, Svartalfheim. So this is it. Okay. Uh, when offering over the wetlands, Mr. Gateway to travel to Swatline. Come, come on then, I'm pressing it.
This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. <laughs> and the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Okay, so, yeah, and we go then. Atreus, you here? Yes, you are. Okay then, guys, we're going to take a quick break here, and when we get back, we are going to Svartalheim to uh, look for this chap, Doolin. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.